Hey, I'm back. What? Me vlog? <coughs> I've got a new book I just bought. And the title of the book is 712 Things to Draw. Actually, it's more things to draw because this is actually the second issue of this book. Pretty big book. Each page has a couple things to draw. So I thought for maybe a little little while, kind of a series, I would draw whatever it says on each page uh, for each episode. And a couple of the pages may have more than one drawing on it, and uh, I'll do anything that's on one page for each episode. So, what do you say we get started? 712 more things to draw. All right. Uh, I did not draw this. This was already on here. And let's see what else we have. Intro. Okay, here's the first page. Now, I'm not sure if you can read that. It's very small writing, but it says an envelope. And down here it says a monocle. So, what do you say we get started? Let's see what we come up with. All right. And draw an envelope here. About like that. That's pretty simple. Now what do you say we go like this? And we show the other side. Which would look like this, I think. And now, of course, you have to have a stamp, so we need to put a stamp over here. And a stamp usually has some kind of a famous person. And I don't know who the person would be, but most famous people, presidents and that, have a beard. So we'll give them a beard. And there's the stamp. And there we go, an envelope. Now the other thing, it says a monocle. So what do you say we draw a monocle? Well, let's start out with an eyebrow. You have to have a strong eyebrow and a big frown, I think, to uh, keep a monocle in, I would think. And we'll draw the monocle around here. And here's the little thing that holds the monocle. It has a thing that comes out of it and goes, hangs way down here. And I think you maybe pin it to your shirt or whatever. And let's see, you got a little thing here to help hold the monocle in, and you got somebody's nose here, like that. And an eyeball, of course, for the monocle. There, how's that? You know, get the rest of the monocle in here. Come around like this. And this part holds the monocle in. And you've got a little thing there. And there you go. Now we'll color in the thing that holds the monocle. Put that down here. And we'll put a few things in his eyeball. There he is. There 
There you go. That's a monocle. So I think we've done it. Ends are divided as to where exactly the monocle fad started. Fashion writer Richard Corson claims that the first they first appeared in Great Britain around 1800. Other sources point to Vienna around 1814. When a man named J.F. Voigtlander invented a rimless version, that monocles eventually came to identify with the stuffy upper class is no accident. Custom cut to fit the wearer's ocular orbit, and often incorporating ivory or precious metal, monocles were prohibitively expensive for nearly everyone but the gentry. Although middle class dandies wore them in efforts to ape the aristocracy, eventually monocles became a status symbol for the socio cultural elite. Well, I hope you'll join me next time. Let's take a quick look and see what. Uh, is on the next page to give you a little preview of what we'll be doing. I find it here. Let's see. A paperweight, an ascot, a spider, and curlers. All right. I know you won't miss that. See you next time.